Hello! Today we're playing with a new toy. Uh, this is my BBC Micro. Oh, I love that. So, this one is a little bit special. As you can see here, uh, we've got the Turbo MMC ROM installed and uh, the hardware that goes with it. Now what that allows, if I just turn that off, is for me to put one of these in, which is an MMC. Uh, it looks like an SD card, so these are a lot older. Uh, they're an absolute bugger to get actually. But this just puts, uh, this just goes in the little slot in the back. Uh, I should not have taken this out. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. Turn it back on. So, uh, the way that we know this is working, apart from the Turbo MMC, if I go and type star help, that'll give me a list of all of the ROMs that are installed in here. And the ROM needs to go into one of the sideways uh, slots that are in here. So it's this one here, and the uh, it has its own set of DFS style uh, utilities that go with it. So if I type dutils, uh, and the way you the way you operate it is you use these utilities. So you can you can see a list of all the images that are on the card by typing dcat, and then they'll all just scroll straight past for you there. Uh, say you want to put in disk five hundred, that's nice and easy. Star d in five hundred, and then if we do a star cat, you can see the contents of that disk. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can create a new disk. It's just you can either type D new and then that will give you uh, disk it'll just create a disk in the nearest slot. Uh, I don't like doing it that way. I like to keep things organized. So the other way you can do it is go D in and then 501 is the slot I want to put it in and it'll tell me disk not formatted. Well, that's okay. So we go deform 5 Oh, one, and then if we go dcat again, you can see 501. Now we want to give the disk a name because everything else has a name and you want to see what's going on when you're doing your, your dcats and you want to be able to identify it. So we just use title, oh, and you can put the disk back in the drive, dn 501, and then we go title, Mat 2. And if I go dcat 500 510, that just shows all the disks between 500 and 510. You can see we've got Mat 2. Okay, so we're finished with Mat 2. What do you want to do with it? So we put it in the virtual drive. We go enable, 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 and we go. Enable dkill 501. Yeah, kill 501. That's right. So you you kill it by uh, disk number, not drive number. So yeah, kill 501. Yes. And then if we go dcat 500. Oh, got to put the star. One disk found. Now, the nice thing about the setup I've got is I've got the Stairway to Hell game collection on the card. Now, there's a few ways you can uh, few ways you can launch it. So, if I show you a cat of disk zero, you can go exec. Boot, and you'll get the menu. You can also uh, the keyboard on this is a little bit funky. Let me just check that. Yeah, you can also type star menu, 
And that'll get it. But by far the best way is just shift double brake. Because that's the automatic load uh, on the BBC Micro. As long as there is a disc in the drive, uh, you can shift double brake and it will just automatically load it. And this this menu has just got all, all kinds of good stuff in it. Um, it's got just hundreds of games. Uh, where was the one I was playing just now? Left and right skips pages, up and down goes up and down. Oh, where's Snapper? There we go. And then we're loading. And this is a lot quicker than discs and tapes. I mean, we're in. Control schemes that aren't WASD. Z and X are right, and star and slash are up and down, and it's oh, it's it's no, it's no good. I do like the colour palette of the um, the BBC Micro a little bit better than the um, whoa that was close a little bit better than the Commodore 64 and the the nice high res it's like the Spectrum without all the awful colour clash and that, that's uh, that is very nice not as many colours as the um, the old C64 but higher resolution and. I don't know, everything on the Commodore 64 looks quite muddy, um, whereas these are nice clear colours, you know, nice clear reds and greens. So just break, break to get back to basic. And, you know, I made this video because it was it was a bit difficult to find out, you know, how it worked. So I've, I've sort of figured it out and uh, hopefully this is useful to somebody out there.